Talking Dead, and then we're going to do Talking Dead, and they're going to be on the show. So I'm just going to go in. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Hey. Just, how coincidental. They were all just hanging out. <laughs> Thank you so much for being yeah, here. Yeah. This, this, is like, this is like weird green room Talking Dead now, but this is Facebook Live. I just wanted to throw some, as many fan questions as I could at you before, because people are excited mm -hmm. for the season nine premiere. Uh, which is amazing, and I've seen it already, and you're about to see it. So let's just jump right in. Kelly W. from Facebook, Norman, are you bothered by people talking about Daryl needing a bath? I think you wear grunge very well. Well, thank you very much. Um, no, I mean, and, you know, the more people that tell me, you know, cut my hair, the longer I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is from Heather by the Sea on Twitter. Melissa, did saving Henry last season help Carol move past the loss of Sophia? Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe there was a little bit of redemption in there, you know, that the kid can't take care of himself, and, and, and um, maybe I did, I found him, so, but altogether, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> All right, this is from Mama Fry 27 Instagram. Jeffrey, what do you think Negan learned most from his defeat? What are, what are his lessons? Boy, I don't, you know, he is, uh, he doesn't like losing. He, he's learned that he doesn't handle losing very well. Um, it, this, for Negan, is a big learning experience. I think he's having to learn a lot about himself, and he's having a hard time with that. So you don't think he's going to be uh, basically in jail and be like, oh my god, I was so wrong that whole time? Uh, no, that's not really Negan's style. <laughs> um, but I think that there is some thoughts he's going through, uh, in a re a redemption wise. Right. Um, you know, he sees what's going on out in that outside world, and and uh, I think he's he's impressed with what he's seeing, what these guys are doing. Um, but Negan is still Negan. There, that's never going to go away. But um, it's a big learning experience. You know, he's fighting a lot of demons within himself. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, Avalee two Norman, how has Daryl changed for the better over the years? Oh God, he, he, a million, a million different ways. You know. He started off uh, being somebody that was just coming to rob you, and he's slowly become uh, a stand-up man who, who relies on people, people rely on him. I, I think he's, he's done a complete 180. I mean, it is interesting that we sort of always talk about this idea of, like, you discover who people are in times of crisis. Yeah, yeah. And all these people, they had one narrative before the apocalypse, and now post-apocalypse, they've become, like, they've really become these incredibly strong characters, and that's how they managed to yeah. survive. What are you sort of? What have you taken away from Carol over the last nine years? Oh, um, that that you, I mean, hang in there and stick with it and, and do your best. I mean, you, everything changes. You you can survive. You, you can survive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then also Jeffrey R on Facebook wants to know, Melissa, do people still ask you for cookies? Not so much anymore because the recipe is out there and they can make it. <laughs> <laughs> but they're more special if they, if they come from you. They're more special if they come from you. Um, just a bit unique on Instagram. Jeffrey, would you be interested in a spinoff that's all about Negan? Uh, a spinoff? Um, and really, it should be called All About Negan. All About Negan. Yeah. Um, I think I'd be interested in doing... Uh, the, the prequel, uh, the, you know, the, what, what Negan was up to before the apocalypse. Right. I think that, that Kirkman's laid that out there uh, as far as a story, and I think that'd be very interesting to play. But as far as a spinoff, I couldn't do a spinoff without these guys. Okay. You know? And then, as we're sort of wrapping this out, what are you... I mean, I can't... It really blows my mind that this has been happening for nine years. It's crazy. Yeah. It really just feels like... Even just, I mean, I know you, you were at it in the last few years, but I just remember that first Comic-Con where we were all there and fresh face and we weren't in the biggest room yet and yeah, yeah, people yeah. were excited about the show and now just where it's gone. I mean, how, how do you feel after nine years? I mean, I'm glad that we shoot that show where we shoot it. I think if we shot it here, it would have morphed into something completely ridiculous. But it, being away and you know, being out in the woods with our family making this show, I think it sort of keeps our head level. It keeps us focused on what we're doing. Um, but, you know, who would have thought that this would have happened? So it's, uh, uh, you know, it, it, as long as we keep it down there and we keep it ours, I think we'll, it'll always be honest. You know? Melissa, what are you excited about this season? Obviously, without giving anything away, what are you excited for people to see? Um, oh, 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 I, I'm excited about uh, Carol's having scenes with more cast members. 
Yeah, everyone was was really isolated for a while. Yeah, this past. yeah, the yeah. gang is all back together again. Well, right speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say, I've, I've seen some of of the new Negan, and it's great. It's it's so good. I, I, he was shooting something that I wasn't there that day, and I went and I peeked and watched, and I was like calling people going, oh my god, it's amazing. So, well, I'm getting the high sign right now. The season nine premiere of Walking nice Dead story. is about to start. It is fantastic. And I know you think that I'm contractually obligated to say that, but I'm not. It is <laughs> fantastic. So um, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for being a part of the Walking Dead family and being here for season nine. And then go to AMC to watch the premiere now, and then we'll all be on the couch afterwards, along with Greg Nicotero and Angela Kang, for Talking Dead, season eight, because we're a season behind. All right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you there. Enjoy the premiere. We'll see you afterwards. Thank you, guys.